Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm adding another element to the baby quilt and putting some fish under those sailboats. Let's get started. Today I'll be making some fish to add to this fun little baby quilt that I started last week. I started with some sailboats then I added uh, some stars above and now I'll put some fish below. For my little fish blocks, I'm beginning with two four inch squares, a brown and a white, one three inch square. And here is a strip that's three by two and two little two inch white squares. And then a strip that is three inches by one and a half inches. And the first thing I'm going to do is make my hourglass block. And I will be able to get two hourglass blocks out of these two squares so I'll have enough for two of my little fish blocks. After sewing and cutting that first part of this block, I made two half square triangles. I put those two half square triangles together going opposite directions. The white is facing brown and on both sides, I drew another pencil line and I will sew again next to that pencil line. I'll cut on that pencil line and then I'll have my two hourglass blocks and I'll trim them both to three inches. But like I said, I only need one for each fish, so I'll have an extra. After trimming my hourglass blocks to three inches, I began making my flying geese block and it's not quite a true flying geese because the, um, the piece, the corner piece of the triangle is not a quarter inch. So I put the two inch square onto my little two inch by three inch strip and I sewed along right on top of that pencil line. I'm going to trim away the excess and then I will add the other two inch square. And like I said, it's not a true flying geese unit because when I put it together, I think a true flying geese would have a half inch um, sort of overlap on the top on the point of the triangle. And this overlap on the top is bigger than a quarter inch because I didn't want to do a funny fraction so I'm just using you know what inches and half inches and this will be the nose of my fish. My 
My quilt is made up of three inch squares. Everything is sort of based on that three inch measurement. So the center of the fish is three inches and the hourglass block is three inches. And then to make the nose of my fish three inches, I'm adding a one and a half inch by three inch strip to the front so that that fish will fit in nicely with the rest of my quilt. This blue fabric is so pretty. I think it's going to make a beautiful fish for the baby quilt today. With my fish, I need some three inch squares. So I have a big variety of three inch squares to surround the fish in my quilt here. I set my fish under those boats and I tried to just kind of um, mix them up a little bit and between all of the fish I added those three inch squares and it was sort of just putting them up on my design wall and then deciding where they were going to be and then filling in squares between the three rows of fish. For the sailboats, I did add one strip of just three inch squares, and then I placed my fish under that strip of squares. And truthfully, when I started filming this video and adding um, 
doing some editing here, I realized that I lost one of those brown fish. So I finished all of those rows and one of the brown fish is missing. So this quilt might have a brown fish on the back. Maybe I'll add it to the back when I put the label on. Sometimes things like that happen as you're working on a quilt. My quilt is now on the design wall with those fun fish underneath the boats. I just need to come up with maybe one or two more blocks to go at the bottom of this quilt to make it the right size. We've worked on a sailboat, the stars, and now the fish block, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this quilt will come together. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.